In today's episode, we're going to talk about something really important to adventure riders, and that's comms. Why are comms important? Because when we're riding off-road, oftentimes there are obstacles, there are people who go down. You guys have seen some of our episodes now where we've actually had people behind us go down. So in our last episode in Tonopah, we had a guy who actually got a concussion and he was our sweep. And the only reason that I knew that he had gone down is because I heard him over our comms and yes, we were using Cardo's. So Cardo, a big reason that we've switched over to Cardo is because Harley is partnering with them now and we ride Harleys. So we are also using Cardo's and there is a bit of a transition. Prior to Cardo, we we're using Senna and I really like Senna's, but there are definitely some key differences. One right off the bat that I'll state is that I feel like the sound quality, the music quality is a bit better with the Cardo's. There are a couple other things I really like that I can just pop off my unit quickly and it magnetically clips back on. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to deal with wires and it doesn't slide on and off. It's just a magnetic that locks mechanically. It's good to go. It's easy to pop off so that there are other things that we use. I also have a headset. That headset is used so that I can communicate with people when we're doing photo shoots or when I'm not on the bike. I can actually just have a headset on and talk to the riders. And I can use my one that I've been using riding all day and just pop it onto my headset go back so that's pretty cool some key differences between the Senna and the Cardo a big reason that we had Senna's and we got into Senna was that this one is the 50c this has a camera on it which is really cool the camera itself is okay uh, we've definitely used it you guys have seen it in some of our episodes but the big reason that we have the Senna was actually to record audio in the group and there is a feature to be able to do that with Cardo however I don't really feel like the audio quality is as good as the Cardo, or sorry, the Senna unit itself. The Senna unit got good audio. The downside is, is that as soon as you start recording with that camera, it kills your battery. You only get about 40 minutes of time then, and that's your comms. So now your comms are out. So you have to either charge it with an external battery, or when you stop, you have to charge it. So that's an added thing you have to do. The Cardos, you have to use an app in order to record your group, but you can record everybody in your group. And I think that's cool. There's guys like Two Lane Life. That's how they record their audio. And it sounds really good. For me, personally, as a filmmaker, I, it's not at a level that I like. So we actually run microphones into our helmets and out to our GoPros. And that's how we're capturing good, clean audio. So obviously, when you're riding solo, it is nice to listen to music. And I think I personally like to be able to talk to the people. And on that note, let's hear what Maggie has to say about talking to people and her thoughts on having comms. Oh, hey. So, I initially had comms on my helmet about three, four years ago, and all I wanted to do was listen to music. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't care about that feature at all. I just didn't want to have uncomfortable headphones in, in my helmet. And I rode for a long time like that. It wasn't really until I got into ADV riding that I realized the value of communication. And now we use comms all the time. What I really like about the Cardos they're nice and easy to pop on and off. They quickly charge. And it's something that makes it easy to communicate with everybody that we're riding with. We've had some issues with some past comms and that were really great for sound, but maybe they weren't so easy to connect to each other. We've had comps that were really easy to connect to each other, but then anyone can jump in your conversation. And what's cool about Cardo is you can create groups, and then everybody who you're gonna be riding with will be in a communication group, and you can relay information back, um, you can crack jokes, we laugh a lot when we're on the trail, and it's kinda cool that Cardo also allows for you to record audio through their app. So then we can record everybody's conversation and keep it for our videos. So ever since then, since we started riding off-road, I've been a huge fan of the Cardo system. Thanks, Maggie. So I'm just going to wrap this up with a couple more things that I'll say about the Cardos. When it comes to group meshing and all that, so there's mesh and then there's Bluetooth. Mesh is really cool because the way it works is that if I have somebody in the front, I have somebody in the middle of my pack and I have somebody in the back, it's using that person in the middle to basically extend the range of the communication amongst the group. Getting into a group is a little bit challenging. I suggest using the app. Another way to do that is just to hold down these two buttons, turn it on, and then everybody group at the same time and it's that seems to work where everybody gets into the group pretty easily. 
I'm definitely still dialing in that whole process. One thing I definitely miss about the Senna is, is that there's a dedicated button and that dedicated button allows you to get off of mesh so you can just listen to music and you're not listening to everybody in your group. And then you hit the button again and you're back into mesh. The downside to the Senna mesh versus the Cardo mesh is that Senna is an open communication. So basically I've been riding in the, in India and all of a sudden we're picking up like some Germans com conversation because they're on the same channel as us. So it's a public group, whereas this is a secure group. Once you create your group, no one else can get into it and it's only you guys in that group. So that is an interesting feature I think for the Cardos. Uh, and one other thing I will say is that when it comes to range and quality, I would say that the Cardos audio quality and communication is a little bit better than the Senna's. But either way, I would say if you're making a decision on what you're gonna buy, you should ask the other people that you ride with. Are they on Senna? Senna's a great option. Are they on Cardo? Then you should get a Cardo. So that's kind of my two cents when it comes to all that. So there are a couple tips and tricks that I have learned since we got the Cardos and one of them is actually how to mute your microphone. So once you're grouped up in that group, to be able to mute your microphone, you hit the top button and the front button and you'll hear it make kind of like a doo doo. And then that means that your microphone's muted but you can still hear your group. And that's kind of good if you're getting off your bike and you're going to go talk to somebody that way everybody's not hearing your conversation and you do the same exact thing again, you hear this little doo -doo -doo, and that means you're back with the microphone. You hold down this right here for two seconds, this control wheel for two seconds and then that will mute the entire group and also it will mute your, your speakers and your microphone from the group and that allows you to just to take calls and, and uh, listen to your music and then to get back into your group you just hold down that button for two seconds again and boom you're back into the group. So those are a couple little tips and tricks. One last thing that I wanna say, and this is a big pro con for the Senna and the Cardos. What I have found is that when you're riding all day long, the Cardos do not last as long as the Senna does. So that being said though, they do charge quickly. So if you bring a little extra battery pack, you'll make it about, I would say two thirds of the day through with one of these or maybe three quarters of the day. So. What I would say is when you get to a gas station partly through the day, remember to maybe juice this thing up so you can make it through the whole day. If you're on the Cardo website, you will see that there is another unit now and that's the Cardo Pro. This is the Edge and uh, the big difference between the Edge and the Pro unit is that it has crash detection as well as it has an auto on off feature. So the thing is with the crash detection, if you're doing off road like we do, you're gonna to wanna to shut that off because it's just gonna go off all the time. We dab, we fall, it's just part of off-road riding, right? So we don't wanna be notifying our emergency contact every few minutes that we're, we've had an accident because that's not gonna be very good. And the way that the on-off feature works is that as soon as you take off your helmet and you let it sit for about 30 seconds, it's got accelerometers and all that inside it. And with the accelerometers not moving for 30 seconds, it automatically shuts off. As soon as you pick up the helmet again, it automatically turns back on. So it's a great way to save battery. As of right now with this edge, every time we stop, every time we're at a gas station or whatever, I'm having to shut it off and I do shut it off and I suggest that you do that as well. So thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Make sure you visit our website because we do have a link for these things.